If you have a failed root canal treatment and retreatment is not possible, epicoectomy is not possible, then the best option that is available to try to save the tooth is by intentional reimplantation. Basically, you extract the tooth gently to avoid any fracture, you cut the root ends, you retroprep and retrofill with a biocompatible material such as MTA or bioceramic, and then you put the tooth back into the socket. I know that the idea sounds crazy to some people because you take the tooth out and you put it back into the mouth. But you know what? This is what we do when we have an avulsion in a trauma case. We take the tooth out and we put it back within like 60 minutes. And guess what? It works. So the background of our procedures comes from the background of trauma literature. And by the way, if you wanted to read more about trauma, go ahead and download the American Association of Endodontics Trauma Guide from their website. For a successful reimplant, the key really is to maintain the vitality of the periodontal ligament. Dryness of the tooth will kill the PDL and subsequently will lead to tooth resorption. According to Grossman 1966, the success depends on the vitality of PDL. Now the optimum time you should work with is within 30 minutes. In our case, that is something we can control. Typically, from the moment I take the tooth out, to the time I place it back is 10 minutes. Speaking of time, it's always a good idea to let the assistant run a timer as soon as you take the tooth out, so you would know how long it took. Not only that, but I also like to ask my assistant to keep the tooth wet all the time by washing the tooth with an isotonic solution such as Hanks Balance Solution. Let me quickly show you another case I did a while ago. A patient presented with a failed root canal treatment of lower second molar. These teeth are ideal for intentional reimplantation due to the conical root shape which make extraction really easy. The tooth was resected, dyed with methylene blue to detect any fracture, and then it was retroprepped and filled with bioceramic. As you can see, the tooth is kept with all the time with Hanks Balance solution. This is a post-op radiograph right after the reimplantation, and this is a follow-up after two years with complete healing. So basically the two main differences in our procedure is that number one, we have a new biocompatible materials which allows us to seal the canals, and two, we can control dry time by limiting it to 10 minutes. Technically, really, it's not dry time because we keep the tooth with all the time. These two factors boosted our success really high and made our procedure possible with predictable outcome. Remember, small details are the key to shift your work to the next level.